Howdy everyone and welcome to Yellow Texas, your 30 minute travel show highlighting everything Texas has to offer. I'm your host AC and on this episode we are exploring the great outdoors, sharing a great date night idea and visiting a new destination we haven't been to before here on the show. To start off we are heading down south to Del Rio, a city known for friendship and community. We visited before for Fiesta de Amistad, but today we are getting to know a different side of this border town. You know, Texas is known for the great outdoors and just outside of Del Rio are a number of state parks and natural areas that are perfect for fishing, hiking, and all the water activities your heart desires. So go with us to Del Rio and Lake Amistad. Today's journey takes us to Del Rio, where friendship meets community. And just outside city limits are scenic areas perfect to take in nature's beauty. And for the next few days, we'll be resting our heads here at Lake Amistad Rentals. All right, wow, I love the vaulted ceilings, very nice. Yeah, so welcome. This will be your place that you're staying nice. for the next couple of days. This Thank is you. one of our condo units, a third story with the vaulted ceilings. Three bedroom, two bath. Let me show you around real yeah, quick. Yeah, absolutely. Love this place already. We have at Lake Amistad Rentals uh, a variety of places for you to stay. We have these fabulous condos. I mean, yeah, wake up here, have this nice view. Oh yeah, oh, you're going to love it. So you're much space. Love it. <laughs> Across the way, we have some one bedroom cabins that have a view of the lake off the front porch. Yeah. And then we have some other two bedroom and three bedroom options. And then we have 32 RV spots uh, that are right here, close as you can get to the public boat ramp. Yeah, and then you can't beat this view. No, Come this, on. this view is amazing. <laughs> and uh, that's why we, we just love it out here. Even though we live in Del Rio, we feel like this is a great spot for us to just have a, a vacation within your own town. I got top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> we're set, we're awesome. set for the weekend and we have a jam-packed schedule, so this is the perfect place for us to just kick back, relax, and take it all in. If outdoor recreations are your thing, then the Devil's River is a great place to start. Well, first of all, you only live once. Yes! Which is why <laughs> you recommend people come to Amistad National Recreation Area. Most people come here for the outstanding water-based recreation activities. Mm -hmm. We have boating. We have about 200 fishing tournaments per year. We have uh, some of the best fishing in Southwest Texas. And then um, also people like to come here to swim. And I think it's, it's the most interesting archeology span in the state of Texas. They left uh, some of the finest uh, rock art anywhere in North America. Uh, there's the Pecos River style pictographs that are over 4,000 years old. It's just a unique place. It's actually one of the best examples of um, hunter-gatherer archeology span anywhere in, in North America and, and in the world. But in addition to the water-based recreation activities, we have a lot of other things that people can do, such as we have five hiking trails, and then we also have picnic shelters, and then we have campgrounds, outstanding place for birding. Mm -hmm. So there, there is a, a lot to do. Yeah, there sure is. One of the ways to enjoy this area is by getting into the water for a couple of days, and this is where our trip begins. We're where the uh, Devil's River flows in and meets uh, Lake Amistad, one of the most pristine uh, spring-fed rivers in Texas. Although it's claimed to be the oasis of West Texas, it's not easily accessible other than by boat. So that's where Amistad Expeditions comes in. We're, we're a shuttle provider with the uh, state of Texas. Uh, we are a licensed concessionaire. Basically, we're, you know, we're, we're your driver. Amistad Expeditions runs shuttle services to and from the Devil's River. If you tried to do this on your own, you'd have to bring several vehicles and yeah. logistically it's just it's pretty tough to do and that's kind of where we come in and that, that's what we do. You show up, we also rent kayaks if you want them okay. uh, from us as well, but yeah. uh, you can bring your own and we'll, uh, we'll put you in and then we'll be there waiting for you to pick you up when you're ready to go. And from there, Lake Amistad TCS will take over. We uh, have a water taxi service where if you decide you want to kayak down the Devil's River from a certain point, then we can pick you up here to save you from having to paddle all the way to the boat ramp. Oh my goodness, can you imagine doing that? It would be a great workout. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. But that's not all. We offer packages for 
people that want to basically do a day trip up the river, just explore the area without having to get too physical with it. We also have boat rentals and you can go and enjoy the day on the water. Does it come with a captain? If you would like to have a captain, that's an option. It just costs a little extra. <laughs> awesome. There's a sense of release when out on the water. And here on the Devil's River, there is plenty to see. These are a series of caves that uh, are, most of them are interconnected. This one we're coming up on has got a sign in the very back of it. You'll be able to see that says, uh, primitive rock shelter, do not enter. Oh, I see there. it now, yeah. And the reason there's a sign there is because several years ago, somebody who had set up a day camp there found an artifact that dated back over 4,000 years. So these are um, Indian cliffs and there's some paintings up there. They estimate those paintings to be well over 4,000 years old. Wow, that is so neat. And as our day winds down, there's something else we need to do. That is feed ourselves with great Tex-Mex food at Memo's. My in-laws started this in 1936. Wow. They sold it to my husband. My husband being a musician, he, his dream was to have a club where he could play his music. Yeah. So he said, uh, Dad, if I can add music to you, you can add whatever you want. It's going to be yours and paper. So he left college and came to Del Rio and it's been in our family since 1959, so we've pretty much had, had it for 60 years or better. And the menu has been pleasing locals ever since. We have the Mexican food, enchiladas, the tacos, the uh, chicken fried steaks, we mm. have the ribeye steak, enchiladas of course. And fajitas, paired with live music, makes for a great way to end the day. Great environment, yes. great hospitality, and, and great, great food. food. There you go. We are just getting started. More from Del Rio coming up. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are in Del Rio exploring the great outdoors. Y'all check this out, it is so beautiful, sun's rising, beautiful backdrop. I am so excited just to see what Lake Amistad has to offer for today. Well, you've come to a great place. Lake Amistad is known for bass fishing. It, um, it is one of the destination areas that people will come from all over the country to bass fish. There's also other species that people are attracted to Lake Amistad for, catfishing, okay. striper fishing, white bass fishing. Um, so it's it's very diverse area for, for any angler to come down and enjoy the lake. Oh, Mr. Denny, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your fishing trip. So give us the 411, give us the lowdown about bass fishing. This is one of them lakes that no matter how an angler likes to fish, he can probably figure out how to catch fish here because there's so many different ways. You got all the rocks, you got the grass, you got the, you actually got wood in the water, so you got a lot of options. Sounds like we're set up for success no matter what. Well, we will see. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> let's get going. The fishing time? It's fishing time. Woo! Let's see what we can catch. I got you set up with Seaguard Tatsu 8 pound test line. And to cast it, you just take your finger okay. and you open the bale just like that. Uh huh. And then just take your finger off. How exciting! Yeah! We have caught us a fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, victory! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's a large mouth. They are beautiful fish, but we'll let him grow up. That'll be a 10 pounder someday. Awesome. We got one. We got one anyway. <laughs> Denny, you here are the pro. Thank you so much for taking us out here. And I'm going to call it a successful trip. It's a really a great lake. The fishing's fantastic here. Awesome. Well, we're going to take our mind off of everything and go for a hike at Seminole Canyon. So thank you. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Appreciate you coming. <laughs> Thank you.
Today we're going to be going down and looking at some pictographs that have been radiocarbon dated to be between 4,000 and 3,000 years old. Wow. Um, which is really a unique experience because everything around us is private property. But when we look over there, that is the Fate Bell Shelter. That is going to be our, our destination there. Awesome. Oh, that's and beautiful. We're going to be going down and passing the windmill trail, which is only a third of a mile. And usually folks get that done in 15 minutes. And nothing is really that strenuous. There's a couple ups and downs, but nothing like what we're going to be going down into the canyon. On your left-hand side right there, fossils. Oh, cool. When you look inside, you'll see very fine limestone particles brought in by wind, deposited, and when the wind hits it at a certain angle, uh -huh. it'll create like mini tornadoes, exfoliate the rock. Whoa, cool. We saved the best for last. This is our most photographed panel that we have. There's hundreds around here, but we mainly pinpoint on the four figures that we have. And before we knew it, it was dinner time at Hooker's One Stop. We have to ask the obvious question here, you know. We kind sure. of did double takes when we heard the sure, name sure. Hooker, so please explain. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's based off fishing, of course. You know, all the fish are coming out. And we didn't actually name this place. We, we loved it when we bought it, so we just kept it at that same name. I, I love you, it, play yes, on no. words and everything yeah. like that. So cool. what do you got on the menu that we can start looking over? Well, I was going to say the cold beer. <laughs> Everybody comes like, our draft beer is really cold. It, it's anything, everything um, from burgers to steaks to seafood to pizzas. It's nice. Great. Everybody loves the food. They come for the burgers. And the weekly yeah, steak it, nights. Yeah, it's, it's steak nights, yeah. <laughs> from the great service, killer food. Mm. Oh, yeah. And live music. I'm proud to be from Del Rio. Hookers caters to all and never disappoints. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right, so it's day three here in Del Rio. And we're back at it again at Lake Amistad. We're gonna go catfishing for today. Wish me good luck. <laughs> so what's the keys to success for catfishing and actually getting a bite? <laughs> Pink bait, cheese bait or punch bait. Okay. And we push the button, let it go to the bottom. Now, jerk. Oh, now real. Okay. Woo! Rod tip up. They're heavy, little guy. Oh. Woo! I did it! Woo I did it, y'all! <laughs> you know, I don't think I could have asked for a better way to end our day here in Del Rio and just end our trip all together. We had such a blast experiencing all the great outdoors that Del Rio has to offer. So make sure you come out, experience it for yourself. We're going to enjoy the rest of this view, and we'll see y'all later. Peace. Visit the link below for a list of all the places we feature today.